Okay, folks, welcome back to the shop. We do a little woodworking here, a little CNC, some metal work, a little bit of comedy, but most of all, we do it all so you all enjoy it. And so stay tuned and see what we come up with next. Okay, y'all, in today's Shapoko Sunday CNC moment, Lisa's asked me to explain this to you. My dog is back there breakdancing or something. I don't know what he's up to. <laughs> hey, Hector, we're shooting here, man. He don't care. All right, so let's go over something that can be a little confusing for people. And we're going to talk about V-bits just for a few minutes, I promise you all. Then we're going to show you what Lisa's been up to. Okay, so the difference in the V-bits. One's a 90, one's a 60. That's measured by combining the two sides. That's how you get the angle of attack. If you put a square on this, you'll see that combining the two gives you a perfect 90 on a 90 degree bit. 60 obviously won't work. So here's an illustration of the difference and here's how they work. In Carbide Create, if you have a letter or any other object that you're making a sign with a given width, if you choose a 90 degree V-bit, it will plunge this far to achieve the edge of the bit touching the edge of what you're trying to gouge out. A 60 will go in much deeper in order to achieve the same thing. What it's trying to do is line up the edge of the bit with the edge of what you're trying to cut. So when you're choosing your bit for V carving, be aware that if you choose a 60, it's going to bury, and if you use a 90, it's not going to go in quite as far. Now, what we've learned is two things. You can control that depth of cut, regardless of either bit, by using advanced V carve in Carbide Create and setting the depth, maximum depth, uh, plunge rate, not plunge rate, maximum depth of cut. <laughs> okay, the other thing we've learned is once you've zeroed your machine, if you use a end mill and you zero the machine using one of these probes on your corner and it comes over and it probes with an end mill, when it does its process and it goes back to the back corner and you now want to change to a V-bit, you don't have to reset the whole machine. Just load the other file that you had disabled and enabled, all of that stuff like we talked about the last time. So now you've loaded the new file with the V-bit in it, bring your machine forward, set this on top, and use the probe to set your Z height. It already knows the X and the Y. It already knows it. You only need to reprobe for the height. So there's that. But now, you, But you can only do that with the end mill. Right. You have to start with the end mill in order to do that in that sequence. So let's take a look at what Lisa's been up to for the last couple of days. I'm going to steal the camera now. No. Lisa's going to head over there and she's going to point out some of the stuff. So this is what we have been up to. I say we, mostly her. We're going to zoom in on these a little bit. I'm going to try to do this. I'm running the camera. I can't do it with that. There's that. We've designed a new flag. Everybody's doing eagle heads. We picked our own eagle head. And when I say we, that's Lisa. We got a little inscription here that's pretty important. All of these signs are available. If anybody wanted to purchase one, they can private message Lisa on Facebook. This is her gig. This is her show. Here's one we just did for a customer. We put the correct name on it, obviously. We got a home sweet home in the back. That was for my father, obviously, he passed, and mom's over here, she just passed recently. Flag is ready to go in for star cutout. Here's one that I did, it's awesome. Roll the dice, you lose, snake eyes. Here's another one I did, and I want to point out something on this one. That's supposed to say is, I can't spell. Whoever thought I could. All right, here's one of my father's favorite sayings. A man with a bitchy wife is happiest sitting on his roof. All right, here's another flag. We did a little, I call that 
uh, blue jeans or ink wash. Another one of the flags. That one's burnt. That one's burnt. And here's a welcome sign I did just in time for Halloween. It looks a little spooky with this on here. And there you have it, folks. Lisa has been busy, busy, busy. Again, if anybody would like a sign. I like that one. That was Jeremy's Just design. private message us and we will come up with something for y'all and we'll work out the details. Alright folks, let's see if I can do this together. Alright, so if you got anything out of the video, you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave us comments, we always appreciate comments. And please subscribe. What else did I forget Lisa? Like. Like. And we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> we'll catch one. you on the next one. Thanks y'all.